finding Einstein in the village. We hitch a ride for a journey like no other. It lasts days and weeks and years through lush fields and sleepy towns, past curious onlookers and straight through the ebb and flow of ordinary life in villages all over India. The science lab on wheels parks it. And for now, our trip ends in Gobind Singh Kabas, northern India. Gunangati. Kya bolenge? Gunangati. On dirt floors with pure ambition, science class is in session. <laughs> the sight is astounding. An entire village, elders first, learning what science and the Agastya Foundation can do for their children. Turnout is impressive. Everyone is all ears. As an army of educators equipped with knowledge and passion, teach science to people in places that hardly ever get to experience the touch, sound and feel of a science lab. You want me to get green? Green. Yes, green. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is infectious. The interest in educating these children is real and the parents and grandparents need to be in on it, starting with this kind of community outreach. Agastya's roving science labs roam more than 600,000 kilometers a year, making it to more than 10,000 schools and towns, inspiring students in each and every one. Why science? Essentially, science uh, lends itself to a lot of curiosity. We identify those children with spark and give them a lot more opportunity and a lot more exposure so that they can participate in a meaningful manner. That exposure happens mainly in India's public schools, most in need of the resources and teaching support, so they can hold science fairs like this one. Agastya sets up science labs and enhances the curriculum, sparking the imagination of many like 15-year-old Pankaj Jakar, who says he now feels as if a career in medicine is within reach. These mobile labs are coming into our villages. Before, we could only read these things in books and not able to understand exactly what was happening. But now we can understand it. <laughs> the key is recruiting keen, passionate instructors who can turn students on to science. If I am changing their mind in a positive manner, then I'm doing a great work. They work on the models. They see how it, how it is working. They see science in action. Yeah, yeah. They are coming with new ideas. Their confidence is increasing. There is an abiding belief underpinning what you see here. That if impoverished children in rural India can be inspired by science, it will change their country's destiny for the better. Paul Newton, CNN, Gobind Singh, Kabas, India.